Why do people declare their pronouns when it has no relevance to the activity? Previously, if you gave pronouns, the implication was that you were trans. Therefore trans people would have to immediately out their self. Used to do this job at college. We started every orientation by introducing ourselves with our names and pronouns because it's signal to potential students that our campus was gender fluidity friendly. It also gives enough information so you can refer to her at a later point and say that she gave you a great tour. Edit. Add it in a comment below as well. In a formal group setting like a college orientation, where you're already asking for a person's name, age, and degree it's easy to add in, and your preferred pronouns. Will most people ignore that? Sure. Will those that care share theirs? Absolutely. Will the one gender fluid kid in the crowd feel incredibly welcomed being asked their pronouns for? Maybe the first time in their life. 100%. This caught me off guard a bit when I was in the US recently. We don't really do this in Japan. Whatever people want to do I guess. Helps to address them I guess. It allows you to know how to refer to her in the third person if the situation comes up. For example, if later in the day you are talking to your son and saying, do you remember where she said the cafeteria was? Quote, and for something like a college orientation it is also intended to communicate that the college is prepared to welcome different gender identities and to set a potential normalized model for some of the 100s of introductions lots of students will make with fellow students and college staff throughout the orientation process. 1. Solidarity with people who need to give their pronouns because it's not blatantly obvious. 2. Normalization of the practice so it becomes boring and unremarkable. This is also in solidarity. 3. Identifying themselves as an ally. A safe person to speak to who won't attack a person for not being cis. It can help making other people feel comfortable expressing their pronouns. I don't feel the need to state my pronouns. However I think it's a great way to include everyone. There was a person in one of my college courses who, by all accounts, seemed to be female. However, their pronouns were they, them. And everyone respected that. I loved it. And perhaps, too, when a cis person states their preferred pronouns. Like I was assigned female at birth and still identify as female. It expands that inclusion. I actually asked a trans coworker about it once. And she was so open explained it all to me. They just want to be called by their true names and I think there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. We don't use pronouns in ASL. There is a way to produce the concept of him or her but as a rule and in the pure sense of the language it is absent of pronouns. For example if someone was talking about their professor they would refer to this person as teacher, then they may use themselves to tell their story. As an interpreter I would simply avoid all pronouns maybe until something about this person was disclosed such as their name example. My chemistry teacher, Mr. Roberts, then if I feel so inclined to use him moving forward I could but the deaf person will still not refer to this person's sex. I don't have a problem with other people doing this. But with some people it does reek of empty virtue signaling or slackivism. Which is why I don't participate in it personally. Most of all I don't believe anyone should be forced to do this. Speakers introduced herself answer. It's only necessary if you care what people call you. I'm a man, but could care less if you called me anything else. If it's important to you, let people know otherwise. Who cares? Pronouns are stupid and people are bored. Two genders he, she. If you want to be called something else cool, in reality you will always be either or. 
because if you don't you're labeled a bigot. It's like the witch trails in modern times. Conform to the wishes of the 0.1%. If not you'll get banned from society. Bro this post itself is the reason she did that. I understand everyone's point about why. But I don't think someone should be ostracized for not going out of their way to declare pronouns. When they themselves don't have an issue with others' assumptions of their gender. Why has this become part of a greeting? It hasn't, other than for a very small minority. I've never seen this. I dunno. The world is changing and it confuses me but I don't exactly care either. If they want to say what they believe they are, good on them. Being able to self-express is important to this new generation. As long as they don't start demanding I do the same. We're all good. Before anyone asks. Yeah I'm pretty old. I can't even remember people's names. How tf am I gonna remember pronouns? I won't even remember their name, much less pronouns. Just proceed to the activity. So you know how to refer to them, and to normalize the practice. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.